Hey guys, what's up and welcome to another Twisted Bow video. After getting some Slayer tasks done, I finally got myself an Abbey Demon task, which allowed me to test yet another boss, which I'm very happy about. I do want to test all the bosses. I still need to do Deknik Kings on task. I still want to do Cerberus, but hey, we have to be patient, I guess, to get some good Slayer tasks. So yes, Abyssal Sire. Abyssal Sire has a magic level of 200, which is decently high. It's not as high as uh, the Zilliana or whatever, but it would still give me a rather high chance of getting some nice damages in. And I did. I am going to show you several kills. Uh, in the beginning, I'm also showing you how I killed the uh, fence, the um, uh, fence with a blowpipe, dragon darts, and rigor. As you saw, I was super fast. It's a lot quicker than uh, just using eagle eye. Of course, I'm also putting up. Because I'm using the, the bow on the sire, so that's why I'm potting up as well. So here we go with the twisted bow on episode sire itself. I inst instantly notice it's hitting almost every single time. Super accurate. Sorry. Um, so yes, I'm not sure what the max hit would be entirely, but hitting a lot of 40s and 50s is very nice uh, nonetheless. So, as you can see, it's pretty fast. There's one thing I didn't do, which is bringing a Dragon Warhammer. The reason for that is that I kind of want to test out how the bow itself is, and not how good the bow is when a monster doesn't have defense, because then you're basically testing how high you can hit instead of how good it is on a monster itself. So that's why I didn't use a Dragon Warhammer. Also, if I wanted to use Dragon Warhammer, I would have to like switch my entire gear set around. Um, because specking Dragon Warhammer with full armadol is not going to be a very beneficial at all. And as you can see, the hits are pretty decent, I must say. Pretty decent. I'm hitting some zeros. It, Absol Sire still has a defense level. I'm not sure why I'm hitting so many zeros right now, but oh well. Luckily, the little guys are not hurting me too much. Um, this was actually the only kill where I really had to heal up from the Scions, but I guess that's normal and I just completely misclick because I'm absolutely wonderful at PVM. And I was able to kill it with a final shot here in the end. Um, I Luckily I didn't die. And with the POH method I don't really have to worry about uh, hit points at all, so that's great. So now yet another time to show you how good the blowpipe really is. I decided to start using the Blowpipe special on defense because I'm not really using another special weapon and I just do hit one of the events Which is really nice really nice. This makes it a lot faster to do this stage I this is actually one of the state like the only stage of, of Absol Sire I don't truly enjoy because it's just waiting for them to die and not really doing anything but I guess that's a Nice lovely runescape mechanic. We just have to deal with I guess so yeah I just I killed three of those vents before he was um Disorientated, which is a lot quicker than I would have with a blowpipe with adamant darts and well, eagle eye instead of rigor. Uh, so, yes, that's definitely a place where rigor is much better. And here you can see me use the POH method where I heal up all my stats, including hit points, including prayer. So, that's why I'm not really using many supplies, just on the occasion, an anglerfish and some range potions, of course. And let's see what we can hit this run. Um, of course, Eagle Eye, sorry, Rigor activated again. 59, and this is another high hit. 57. I would have loved to see a lot of extremely high hits, but I guess if you hit 50s constantly, it's really good. And I just hit very high there, but he was already below his 50% health, so it didn't really do much, unfortunately. And I'm lovely misclicking on the little things right now, which is great. As I said, I'm a Terrible at PVM. I would love to see more high hits, but, you know, that's a really high hit. 68, that's a really nice hit. I didn't even see it when I was recording this. <laughs> um, so, yeah, 68 max hits so far. I don't think we can complain about that. I'm not sure whether this or using melee with Dragon Warhammer is better. I should have been killing this for at least, like, a couple of hours to check the experience rates, like the Slayer experience rate. So yes, it's not terrible at all. And now for the final kill where I did my highest hit. Uh, that's why I do several kills. Just to test out like more stuff of, of the boss. See, see how high I can hit. And not just go off from one kill. I guess that's a better better thing to go at, I think. So yes, 55s. It's it's really nice. It's it's not like an Armadil where I was hitting a lot of zeros in a row. And then suddenly a 70. This is a lot of 40s, a lot of 50s. 
and then sometimes kabam 72 that was my max hit so far i wonder if that's my max hit in this gear it might very well be because level 200 magic is not that high but it is definitely high enough to reach good hits which i'm very happy about and then we just have to finish off the kill which is uh, pretty easy because you don't even have to stand close or anything uh, that's really nice, actually, that you don't have to stand very close to uh, to Absol Sire with, uh, with the range. It makes moving around a little bit easier from the uh, poison thingies. Now, I must say that I did kind of mess up here and got hit by the poison stuff, so... Yeah, we might have to kill more Absol Sire to get better at it. <laughs> or I just done goofed, but oh well. Everybody, thank you very much for watching this video. Hopefully you guys are enjoying these videos. Don't forget to leave a like. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, guys. Derp.